Hey everyone, this is Shana and I, and today we're going to do another homemade deodorant recipe. And the reason why I hadn't done this one in a while is because I'm lazy, I guess. I, I just want to measure spoons and cups, but this one requires a food scale and to be measured in grams and some a couple of products that you may not have in your normal stash but no baking soda because I can't I can't use even a teaspoon of it in my deodorant because it irritates me in my underarms so anyway let's get started I think this recipe makes one stick of deodorant but I am going to sterilize two you know it's better safe than sorry and these are my last two I got all of my ingredients together except for the arrowroot powder. We were supposed to use 15 grams of arrowroot powder, but I can't find it. I keep it in the fridge of the freezer and I couldn't find it, so I was like, this is driving me nuts. So I went and looked online to see if I can use cornstarch instead of it, and you can. But disclaimer, it can for some people irritate your underarms. Probably not as much as the baking soda does, but I'm going to try it. Um, I think I put it in, I put it in, yeah, I have put it in deodorants before and I had no problem with it and I have very sensitive underarms, but that doesn't mean that you won't have any problems. So. It's a trial and error thing when you're making your own deodorant, lotions, whatever, hair products or whatnot. So sometimes you just got to try a little bit. So here we go. All is not lost. Okay, here, here's what we need. We need 30 grams of coconut oil, 20 grams of shea butter, 10 grams of uh, carrier oil. I'm using grapeseed, but you can use like almond oil or avocado oil or anything like that. Any liquid oil that's liquid in room temperature. Um, let's see. 10 grams of beeswax, 15 grams of arrowroot powder, and we're substituting that with cornstarch. 15 grams of diatomaceous earth or DE. I had a little bit left. I don't know what my jar of it is. Um, so it's in here. It's very fine powder. 20 to 25 drops of essential oil. And I'm using peppermint. I love that smell. I had a whole box of different essential oils. And this is the day of not finding stuff, I guess. So use what I, I can find. This smells good. And then five drops of vitamin E and I have the vitamin E tablets right here alright let's get started and a food scale you need a food scale you need uh, something to use as a double boiler to melt your shea butter coconut oil and beeswax and the container that you're gonna put it in what else a spoon or a, or a whisker or whatever you're going to use to mix it. Okay, we're going to use this bowl. Let's tear it. Now, we need 30 grams of coconut oil. Thirty-one, close enough. Twenty grams of shea butter. Where's my shea butter spoon? Here it is. Fifty. One. And 10 grams of carry oil, which should be 61. A 
that's good enough. And uh, 10 grams of beeswax. Should be on 70 when I get finished. Okay, 72. That's good. <laughs> I'm easy. Okay, now we're going to... I don't know if this this glass bowl will hold up. I know this will. So I'm going to put everything in this measuring cup and then let it melt. It might just be enough for one stick. Make sure you wipe out your bowl with the paper towel because you don't want to stop up your sink. So we got some um, oils in here that'll solidify, so do that before you wash it. All right, now let's get to melting. And then while it's doing that, I'm gonna the cleaning fairy is gonna come and clean up. Okay, how is this coming along? Let's see if this thing is hot. Nope. It's melting. Wanna stir it? The beeswax should be the longest to melt. Let me break up this uh shea butter too so it might melt quicker. Okay, it has melted, so. I'm gonna put it over here. Let's see if it's hot first. See? It's liquefied. And you sit here and let it cool off a little bit before you put your DE, your cornstarch, vitamin E and the essential oils in okay all right my memory got was full on my camera so I put 15 grams of of uh, arrowroot powder and 15 grams about to be 15 grams of the di di diatomaceous earth takes a lot more of it because it's so lightweight I guess Okay. 31. That's fine. All right. Now we want to put in our vitamin E drops. Okay, I got to keep watching this camera. I don't think I deleted as much as I could have. So five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Just one one pill. And 20 to 25 drops of essential oil. That is where you can see it a little better. This stuff comes out fast. Then you are to whisk this. doesn't look too cute it's like see the color of it <laughs> I need a small whisk for this little thing I'm going to use a spoon mm, it smells so good I love that peppermint Get 
all of the lumps out from the powders. last deodorant I made I let it sit until it became like a peanut butter repay uh, texture so that's what I'm gonna do with this let it sit for a minute and then I'm gonna put it in this using a plastic the a plastic ziplock bag or whatever yeah I've got one of my subscribe well one of my viewers suggested to do that so it wouldn't be so messy and I think that's an excellent idea so I'll be doing that shortly okay this has been sitting for 15-20 minutes see the consistency so I'm gonna put it in the bag now this little ziplock bag at the top I folded it down but get that off all right seal it I guess <laughs> I don't think I've ever I might have done this before but I don't remember not for products I have deodorant or whatever so I don't want to lose any, but I'm going to lose a little bit. Now, that's how much we got. Okay, we're going to cut a corner. And pipe it out like icing into the... And oh, also make sure that you have your dial turned all the way down on your deodorant thing. Thought I had this one all the way down. Am I rolling it up or down? Okay, it was down already. I was rolling it the wrong way good to check that before you put anything in there this is a good recipe because you don't have to make a whole bunch you could just make one container and see if you like it some of the other recipes you'll be making a whole bunch you know at least two or three sticks Look at that filling up. That's pretty good, isn't it? Trying to get all of the goodness in here. I guess that's all I'm going to do. Let me see if I can smooth it. Now, it should get more solid as it sits because of the beeswax. It smells heavenly, and I will take photos, maybe a video of the end, total end results. This concludes my deodorant video without baking soda with diatomaceous earth or DE. I'll be doing another video soon, well, in the future with bentonite clay and I'll let you know 
I'll probably video that and then I'll let you know which one I like the best. Okay? Well, thank you for watching. Love ya. Bye-bye. It is very soft, y'all. I don't like that. You watch. See? Now, I have used it under my arm since I've done this. But the next time I make it, I will put definitely put more beeswax. Maybe a tablespoon. Yeah, it's kind of... it smells good. It smells like peppermint. But it doesn't stain my underarms. So, 